There were only about 15 restaurants in all of Anne Arundel County, not all of Anne Arundel County, but close to Annapolis at that time. And we started out very, it was tough. We were just starting with no money or anything. And um, he worked very hard. John was a great restaurateur, in my opinion. I'm bragging on him, and he was. But anyway, we would work hard, and I kept my job. It wasn't with Lavovitz at that point, because I had to, Lavovitz had gone out of business, and they sold to the lane shop. I stayed there a while. But from there, I managed Montgomery Ward's mail orders department in Glen Burnie. Wow. And so I kept working in there. And we, we did work hard there, but it was worth it. The restaurant business was rewarding in many ways. Mostly the people. Loved the people. Yeah. It just love the people. But anyway, he kept wanting to, to, to um, upgrade, of course. And we did many, many times. And his sister-in-law, Helen Desi's, would help us with all the remodeling, the interior design. She was great. She was really great in what she did. And it was a nice family. Everybody worked together, John's family. Stella came with us. She was the greeter, the hostess. And, and uh, it was just a family project. But yeah. anyway, I had one, when John was starting, to in, uh, he was 40 at this point, because we started in December of 1960. That's when we opened Fred's. And that day, we had one of the biggest snow blizzards I can ever remember. <laughs> and he kept saying to me, we're going to open, we're going to open. I said, there isn't going to be anybody there, John. But bless his heart, I finally said I would drive, because he didn't like to drive, but I drove. And we got there, believe me, and there was nobody there but us. And we just stayed and looked at outside these great big pane glass windows, huge. Nothing out there but field and snow. Boy. But that was all right. That was their first day. Yeah, and it became the you know an institution in Annapolis, and uh, I remember right. you told me you would sit there and make the crab cakes. As short as you wore, you would go yeah, out. In the back, I did prepping. I could not cook. I knew nothing about restaurant. And when my husband asked me to quit my job, <laughs> I was always retail from 16 years, and I said. Um, I cried my heart out because I didn't want it. Not that I didn't love him in the in the business, but I didn't know the restaurant. This, other than the bookkeeping part, I did those things in the morning. I would go there first. We would make lunch menus. I would do the deposit, take the inventories, that kind of thing. Yeah. And, and one of the things I know my sister Annie always tells me. She says, you know, all these uh, the, the, the the men that own these restaurants, their their wives were right next to them. And helping them with the mm -hmm. paperwork, the business work, the greeters, right. and those sort of I was women happy to the, behind the scenes. Yeah, John. that's I, it. And, it didn't and, bother and, me. And there's a great story there about yeah. all the women uh, that worked uh, with, with their husbands. You're true. The, most of the women I knew, the Greek women, were behind the scenes. Yeah. As a matter of fact, when we had a grand opening, when we finally had a grand opening there, um, John put me in the kitchen. I didn't know from anything, but they made me roll pizza dough. We made our own dough. They made the dough, but I'm rolling. But I could not use my arms. I cried so much that night. My mother had to help me get, uh, you know, we we didn't get married for 10 years. We opened the, the um, I mean, when I met him was 51. We got married in 62. But my mom, I, she had to help me get undressed because my arms hurt so bad. Yeah, we the, saw the, uh, he the was given the food away that yeah, night. You know, yeah, yeah, pizza after pizza after pizza. Tell me a little bit about uh, John's service and Nick Fotis's yes, service yes. and uh, and and Harry Maggio. I know you had told me that and and how you all handled it back on the home front. Well, they were all in high school. Okay, okay, so we're talking about John Christo, John Nick Christo, Fotis, Harry Maggio, Joe Maggio. I Joe. think now Harry might have been out. I don't remember, but they all enlisted when the World War II. They enlisted, and they all together, and they left school, and, and enlisted. And John was in the Pacific. He was a bombardier in the B twenty nine, the B twenty nine over Japan.